Testing, testing. All right, all right, all right. Okay, here we go. It's Monday, August 5th. We're back at it. Back into the... Whoa, what a crazy day in the markets, eh? Eh? Um, yeah, I don't know what the heck was going on there. What in the world happened? I was listening to this uh, guru guy, quote-unquote guru. Yeah, he doesn't claim to be a guru. He's really a down-to-earth, super cool guy, and he's really knowledgeable. Uh, and he was mentioning that... We don't really know. He said something something really big must have happened today, kind of like behind the scenes, um, for the type of like pop and volatility that we got and all that. Check this out. So here's today's move. Look at that. So now yeah, we're having a little bit of a pullback here. Uh, that's a big gap, man. So so it'll be interesting to see if that guy's right. And like if if something comes out over the next couple of days, like he didn't really. It's go on much about what he thought it could be but like some sort of maybe it's like a fun blow up or something or something big that he says he thinks happened to cause that the pop like it was i mean that was like that was ridiculous i mean i got up in the middle of the night and the futures were the es futures were like down 200 and today i don't know if we got 200 or not but i mean we went we wound up at 160 and we had kind of a pull back so we, we probably hit 200 down today 200 points on the spx anyway fun times i'll tell you one thing i'm sure glad i'm not into one of those god dang one one twos you know what i'm saying can you dig it are you picking up what i'm putting down no that's terrible come on dan what the f well, anyway let's go back to let's see what we got going on here so check this one out this is our new this is my new favorite toy my new profit bomb trade so these type of trades this this type of a move doesn't really uh doesn't really hurt or necessarily help maybe help a little bit because you just get a lot more opportunity but with this trade here the profit bomb there's no issues like what we have to deal with with like one one twos or naked puts or big butterfly structures or iron condors this is a completely different game and it's one of the funnest games i've ever played so here's today's trade here's my profit bomb for today you can see that uh, this is a little bit out of a, a little bit different of a structure usually i've been trying to get these things completely above the zero line totally like from the bottom to the top this one you can see we have risk up here but that was intentional uh and it's not something that i would recommend really i'm just pretty um i'm pretty nimble or i like to think that i'm nimble and that i can maneuver around that if that was an issue if, if the spx were to race up there i could probably handle that but uh, you know what they say. I think that when I was in Sabbath school, when I was a kid, we had we, we went to Sabbath school. We didn't go to Sunday school. We went to Sabbath school. It was on Saturday. We were one of those seven dayers. And I wonder if there's anyone else out there. Is Are there any seven dayers out there watching these videos? If so, leave it in the comments or email me. We have sort of a connection, kind of like, kind of like long lost family. Anyway, what I was going to say is that now that I'm sort of bragging about that, like saying, yeah, oh yeah, no problem. I can handle that move. That's not, no problem at all. Now they say that, that's like, that's me tempting the universe or God. Now I'm ripe for a big fat fish slap. Probably get nailed tomorrow. But anyway, what I was saying was that usually I like to build these things that they're completely above the zero line. But there is a way that you can kind of uh, shift risk around. So later in the day, I just moved some of that shift around. I shifted some of that risk up towards the top. And kind of like was able to boost this uh, the expiration line up here a little bit, get a little bit more profit out of it. But still, we wound up pinning at this, which is fantastic. So let's just look real quick at what this trade gave us today so all the way from here all the way to zero i have a profit of 630 dollars locked in no matter what happens if it crashes if the crap really hits the fan like the stock market was acting like it was going to do today or, or last night all the way to zero i'll make 630 so that's no problem so that's sweet and then i had this i had these structures here and we pinned well it's not a perfect pin but it's pretty dang close close enough for me so you can see with this trade, I wound up with a profit of $2,254, which is nice. I think I'll be able to kind of upgrade a little bit today for lunch and not have to go to Taco Bell. I think instead of Taco Bell, I may be able to like go to, like, well, let's see, what's a drive through that's more expensive? Oh, like In-N-Out maybe? They're, they're more expensive. Do you guys have In-N-Outs where you live? In-N-Out is this thing in California, these burgers that it's ridiculous i mean there's always a line through their drive through that's like a mile long you got to sit there for like 30 minutes and it's always there i mean th there's always a line i wonder if they have a stock i should buy some some of that all right so that's where we wound up trading for the day we pinned and i made 2254 bucks on this trade so again the way this just built out here we had another little tent here where we could have gotten up to 1630 
Uh, and then right here we have the guaranteed locked in profit of 630 all the way up to this point. So from here, this point all the way down to zero, we're covered, uh, no risk position, no risk at all in the position. We can make, we're at least worst case scenario is that we'll make 630 bucks. But I was able to land that tent there, so I made up to, two, I made uh, 2,200, oh, that's not right, 2,000, that's, that's the pink line. God dang it, that's not how much I made. Look at the blue number. The blue number is how much I actually made. That's where it settled at. I'm gonna turn that pink line off. That really messes me up. So, I didn't make 2200 I made 1725 Ah, sh well, there goes in and out Now we're going to have to go back to Taco Bell. Dang it. So anyway, and then we had this tent here. It's kind of like a big, gigantic, broken wing butterfly structure with like a, a camel. Broken wing camel. You got these two humps here. Uh, but then the, the risk, the downside is if the thing would have taken off towards like the last couple of hours of the day and blew through all this, we have a risk of 1370. But again, this was not there throughout the majority of the day. And I typically don't have that type of a risk, uh, a structure like that with this trade. This trade is typically always uh, above the whole thing would be above the zero line with a bunch of profit bombs or as many as I can get lined up on it. But the whole thing is usually floating. It's just in the second half of the day today. I just made some shifts. I shifted some risk around in, in this thing to boost up the profit potential in this part of the trade. And as a result of that, it was a trade-off. I traded some more profit potential in this area for a little more risk potential in this part of the tent where we dip below the zero line and I could have a loss there. But again, like I was saying, I wasn't just doing it blindly and I'm not completely naive or ignorant. I mean, I know what that risk is and that could be nasty if we were to take off and this would be a day that I could see a big gigantic rally at the end of the day, but I was ready for it. I knew what to do. Now I just doubled down on my bet with the universe and tomorrow the market's gonna smack the crap out of me. So that's it. That's today's trade. This is going to be a short one. I have a I have a bunch of stuff I have to run around and do today. So I just wanted to get this in there real quick. The uh, the Profit Bomb project is off and running. And if you want to get involved with that, reach out to me. There's still spots I can squeeze you in. The quickest and easiest way to email me is go over to my website. I'll leave a link to my website in the description below. Head on over there. Sign up for the free email newsletter. As soon as you do that, you'll get a welcome email sent out to you. Just reply back to that welcome email. And in the heading or the subject line of the email, just put profit bomb or, hey, what's up with this profit bomb thing? Or teach me, I want to learn the profit bomb or blow me up, baby. Something like that. Something to do with the profit bomb. I'll get back to you and we'll go from there. All right. That's it for this one. See you tomorrow.